This is sodium cyanide, highly toxic, but we use this uh, material for our research for origin of life. Cyanide is deadly. As little as a tenth of a gram can be fatal. John's colleague, Zhen Feng Shu, has been working with it for over a decade. Just keep gloves on. Don't eat it. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> Mixing the cyanide isn't enough. It then has to be exposed to the conditions of early Earth. I'm going to put this in the solar simulator. Uh, this machine just simulated the early Earth conditions. Levels of UV light were much higher back then. UV light is the, is the energy to drive the reaction. And it's, it's free energy from the sun. And we're going to use it. Inside the machine, the cyanide combines and recombines, creating the building blocks of life. After a few hours, we can detect amino acid, nucleoside precursor, lipid precursor. They're all very important biomolecules in life. Cyanide may be the raw material needed to kickstart life. So finding an abundant supply is vital for John and Jiang Feng's theory. And one type of location is more promising than any other. Impact craters. As a meteorite strikes, its energy superheats the atmosphere, generating huge amounts of cyanide. And it also melts the planet's crust, creating hydrothermal systems. The Meteor impact is really important for life to start. John and Zheng Feng's idea is that rainwater flowed down the crater walls, absorbing cyanide, and then was heated in hydrothermal pools at the bottom. And reaction taking place then. So simple. To prove their theory, John and Zheng Feng need evidence. Chemical traces from one of these craters. On Earth, it's simply not possible to find evidence of these environments because all of the impact craters of that period have been erased by plate tectonics. Scientists still don't understand how life began on Earth, but they do have three theories about how and where it might have happened. Hydrothermal vents with chemical energy for early life. Volcanic pools could have assembled cells and impact craters could have provided the raw material for life. But here on Earth, essential clues to solve the mystery have long been erased. To find them, scientists need to return to Mars. <laughs> 